Hi, welcome back to Double B Garage. Today I'm going to show you how to get wireless CarPlay in your Jeep Wrangler. I've had my Jeep Wrangler JL for two years now. And one of the things I love is the CarPlay feature where you plug your phone in and it's mirrored and you can run all your apps and stuff without having to go through the car's proprietary system. But there's always a problem of where do you plug it in or you know, where do I put it when I'm out on the trail. Uh, when I have no doors, like now, I, I don't want my phone falling out of my pocket or I don't want it you know, rattling around on the dash. So I found this uh, device on the internet that was recommended to people in the Jeep community that can actually make it wireless, like you see in like the BMWs and the higher end vehicles that are coming out now, where you can get wireless CarPlay, where you turn on your car and your phone connects. I'm gonna show you how well and well not that works here. So here's the little wireless CarPlay dongle, if you will, that you use to convert your wired CarPlay to wireless. Now, if you know me, I like to leave a little plastic on everything so that it still looks new and doesn't get ruined. So that's why I stole the plastic on it. But all you do is you plug this in to your car's USB port. I happen to have one inside the center console that I use, and it gives you wireless CarPlay. Now, this has to be plugged in all the time and has to follow you if you have a different vehicle that you want to use it in. So, uh, like I have two Jeeps that have Uconnect that can do CarPlay, and I would need two of these to uh, use it in both vehicles. Now the actual device I went with is called C-Play to Air, and it seems like they are a Chinese manufacturer that sells directly to the United States through the internet. One of the uh, key things about this is if for some reason it doesn't work, you still have a little bypass USB port that you can plug your phone into to either sync it or actually use CarPlay. So let's take a look at how it works. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the CarPlay device into our USB slot. Oh, got it on the first time, that's rare. And we're just gonna turn the car on. You'll see on the screen that the CarPlay device, the C2 Air, has its own interface that you can use to pair your phone. One of the things I dislike about Uconnect, which is gonna be in a different video, is how long it takes to boot up. So here's the screen of connecting with a phone. So I have my phone here. And because I've paired this before, it's automatically going to connect to CarPlay. And it takes a while, takes a while. And then there we have it. We have wireless CarPlay on the iPhone. We're going to turn that off so we don't get uh, demonetized. So now one of the things I don't like about this system, and I've never used the true wireless CarPlay solution, so I don't know if it's all of them or just this, there's a little bit of lag here. So when you're moving between screens, when you touch something, there's just a tiny bit of lag. Now that I can deal with. The biggest pet peeve I have is the audio lag. So if we were to switch a song, you're not gonna hear the song start playing until a couple seconds after you touch the button or use the remote control on your steering wheel to change the song. So there's just a little bit of a delay, and it's almost like uh, when Bluetooth audio became a thing and you had to wait for Bluetooth to catch up. But other than that, everything works just as described. You have wireless CarPlay in your Jeep that doesn't come with it. So that's it, it's pretty simple. You can get wireless CarPlay in your Jeep or a lot of manufacturer cars if you look on the website. And I just want to say this is not a paid endorsement of the C2 Air. It's They didn't give me it for free. I actually purchased it. It's pretty expensive. It's about 130 bucks, and it takes quite a while to arrive, uh, two to three weeks uh, from China. So if you're interested, I'll put the, the link in the description and you can get one for yourself. I love it. I'll probably order another one for my other vehicle or any future vehicles that don't have wireless CarPlay. Stay tuned for more Double B Garage videos.